Hello, everybody. Tuesday tribe time. Just going to invite some people real quick. Inviting some people and then we'll get started with tonight. See people popping in. Give me just a second here. Send a couple invites out. Hello, hello, everybody. This third uh, Thursday, um, Tuesday. I'm okay with it being Thursday. I wish it was Friday. Thursday. Then tomorrow would be Friday. That's yes. right. Yep. Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday. Friday would be awesome. We're all Friday. Almost. Yeah, almost halfway. That's right. Then you know why I'm like, why I'm gonna like Friday is this week. Okay. That's the next weekday before. Let's get to where we can go in here. And we'll find out why I have this goofy thing on my head. What? Looks like a chicken, don't I? It's supposed to be a headdress. I ordered. Don't know that I'm too fond of the colors just yet, but what you gonna do? If you spend money on it, then I use it. <laughs> okay, let me see how I get back out of this menu. Okay, there's Miss Stag. Say hi. Hello, Miss Stags. Hi, Dion. Hi, hi Shondell. Hi, Jody. Hi, Miss Stag. Gonna wait for a couple people to pop in. How do I look today? This is in honor of me being in the, the uh, Glam Tribe. I wish it was sparkly, though. Yes, it would be so much better if it was sparkly. That's the name of the team I'm on, is the Glam Tribe. And then my team is the Glam Clan. So those of you just tuning in, I'll say it again. Um, but um, my name is Ginger. I'm a wife status presenter for Unique. And the products I use tonight are by Unique and can be found on my website at www.myglamclan.com. So I'm just going to start getting some stuff ready. I'm going to try to do some kind of try buys tonight, tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Get your feathers out of my hair. Ah! <laughs> That's one way to keep her out of my little space here. <laughs> see, there's your, uh, there's your boundary line. Um, when I ordered the headdress, it looked different, and now it's very bright. I do like the blue color in it, though, but maybe I can do something with it, make it all shimmery. That would be awesome. How's everybody Can doing today? I'm going to start with a fresh palette today. Are you getting, am I glitching to everybody? Because it looks like I have a delay on my end. Dang it. I don't know what that's about. I'm going to keep going. Okay. I it just dropped away. something. I'll be right back. Hmm. Can everybody still see alive? Is it froze or glitching or anything? How? Everybody getting real time or is it got a lag tonight? If so, yeah. This is my first time to experience in this. White, blue, gun, and glitter. That's what I'm talking about. Well, hopefully the glitch, I think it went away. Let's see. Can y'all see this in live time? <laughs> Is it working? <laughs> okay, I won't make you dizzy. I think I'm back on, I think I'm back normal stream here. 
So, uh, like I said, tonight we're going to do Tuesday try-bys. That's what I'm going to go for. And that's why I'm wearing the headdress. But I'm pleased to take it off. Ah, Thanks, to do my makeup. No, my hair is all flat. I don't care, though. We're just going to keep going. Uh, will you set this in the bathroom and shut the door so the cat don't try to play with it? Thank you. Don't wear it. It's mine. Alrighty. Sisters these days. Sisters I these days. Will. you. Okay, hopefully my hair is not too bad. Feathers. If it starts getting in my face, I'll just put something on it. I'm still lagging on yours, Joey. Feathers. Okay, I'll try to try to muster my way through it. Man. First thing I'm going to do is start off with a clean canvas by using my shine wipes during the unique world time. They're amazing. If you use them to take your makeup off, they get everything off, including mascara. I just love it. I'm going to use one right now just to start off with a clean palette and to kind of put a little moisture in my skin. I feel really dry today. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the air. I know the temperature changing back and forth. It's about to wreak havoc on my skin. And I'm glad I have these products. So let me just turn my little makeup mirror on because I forgot to turn the light on and I can't see. <laughs> wow, voila. Okay. I'll try to stay in view while I'm putting my makeup on. This feels so good. Jody said you're better now. Great. These shine wipes have a lot of good ingredients. Aloe, jojoba, um, the whole ingredient list can be found on my site at www.myglamclan.com. I'm having a party on there right now, and if you go to skincare, you'll find them there with the complete list of ingredients. I don't know all the ingredients, but I know there's a lot of good ones in there. I don't have them memorized. Uh, but they really, thanks for stopping by, Dion. They really feel good on your skin. If you can see, it kind of leaves it shiny and smooth. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my, uh, well, second thing, I used to shine wipes first. But as far as makeup, I'm going to start out with the Touch Glorious Face Primer. And you want to apply this underneath your makeup to give you a smooth canvas to start with. And if you see here, it's clear. It's not that cream stuff. And it just smooths over, makes your pores all smoothed out, covered, so that when you apply your foundation, you have a, a really smooth surface to go on top of. I'm just going to rub that in. I always do my eyes, too. We also have a fa uh, an eye primer for eyeshadows. I've got some coming. It hasn't reached me yet in the mail. But what that does is it increases and intensifies the pigments of the eyeshadow. So it really makes your colors pop. It makes them vibrant. Lid back on. Hi, Ann. Hi, Sherry. Gonna do Tuesday try buys today. Where is my thingy? Where is my thingy, my, my jiggy? And what I forgot before. To do before I put on my primer was the rose water so I don't know that I want to put that on after the primer so we'll pretend like I put it on already <laughs> now that I have my thingamajiggy 
it's a called a blender. Um, I'm gonna use my my BB cream. This is like foundation, but it's a tinted moisturizer for your skin, and it's also highly pigmented. Hello, Matthew. And uh, this is in the color bisque on mine. And it's also available at www.myglamclan.com. Just going to put a couple drops on there. And you just want to kind of dot it around. And then you'll spread it. And I would rather apply with a makeup brush, but mine is MIA. But I have one that was shipped today, so hopefully I'll have it in the next day or two. And you just want to kind of spread it. And when you're applying your makeup, you want to go up with it, not down. You don't want to go with gravity and help gravity. I'm just going to put a little bit more right there where it was kind of red. Oh, thank you, Ann. It's a Japanese room divider. It has the Japanese cherry blossom trees on it. I like it. I actually used it for a divider for a little while for my home office. And I decided for my lives I didn't like just the straight white wall. So, I don't know if you can see a difference. I have the red splotches and some of the little veins. And over here, it's, it's smooth. And as it dries... It, it even covers more. Hello, Uncle Dale. Well, hello, hubby. Yeah, I had a good day. I seemed like it was a long work day today, though. It seemed like it, I don't know. I had steady work and kept working most of the day, but it just seemed like it was a long day. Of course, it started out with a lot of rain here, and rainy days always I don't know. Make you gloomier. What up, be lad? So we're just gonna finish getting this BB cream on. I actually like the BB cream more than the foundation because I like to not feel like I'm wearing makeup but still have coverage to just cover up the blemishes and imperfections. And uh, that's what I found with the BB cream that works for me. I will be using foundation on some of the lives just to show the product, but for me, for everyday wear, I'm all about that BB cream. Tell me if somebody makes a comment so I don't miss them. I think I got it all pretty much. And I forgot to do my ha ha ha. Hey, it takes a real man to sit and let his wife give him a facial, especially um for the whole WWW to see. I think I have a pretty awesome husband. <laughs> does it say Matt? Um, does that say Matt? I don't know if it says Matt. Um, it has a slightly matte finish, but I wouldn't say it's totally matte. I don't know if you can see. Well, it has like a little bit of shine to it. So I wouldn't say it has a flat matte. So I should have done this before my foundation, but I'm going to use a little bit of this Instant Lifting Serum, which is also in the Royalty line. And it don't, whoops, only takes a drop or two, which... I just squeezed out more in a drop or two because I had had it upside down. And... Okay. So, literally, that's all I'm going to use. And if I have to touch up with my foundation, I will. But I notice I've got some dark circles going on. So, you just want to kind of lightly pat this on. You don't want to pull and rub, especially under your eyes. I'm just going to do your frown line. And see, by doing that also, it didn't really affect my makeup. I'm going to let that sit a minute, and then I'm going to touch it up. 
with the BB cream. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about Matt on their end. It just, uh, I know that it dries a little bit to a powdery, but it's not dry powdery on your skin. It's matte. matte. It's not mate. It seems like it would be though. <laughs> she wants to know if it's matte or mate. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's cute. That is an. <laughs> Don't yell in my ear. Okay. So now we are going to do. Just checking. Yeah, you might look on the website and see what it says, but I don't. It doesn't say anything on the actual product about it being a map. So, um, quit grabbing. She's already wanting to play in my makeup. I'm not playing. Already wanting to play I'm in the makeup. Yes, you are. Playing already playing in the makeup. In the makeup. I was looking at Stay it. On already you, playing in the makeup. Was looking at it. Stay on you. Okay, so what I'm gonna stay not say, huh? Say not stay not say. Yeah, not part of our daily conversation. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the brave. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna start out with the brave, no, and it's this good. color right here. It's this. This is in the. <laughs> A mood Struck Addiction Palette number four. And it doesn't take much at all because I'll say it a million times, the products are really highly pigmented, which means they last you a long time. I'm just going to go in the corner right here and along the crease. So what I do is I put my finger there to make sure I don't go further than I want to go. That's just something I do in my preference. And then I'm going to kind of carry that out to the length of where my eyebrows are. <laughs> oh, her name is Ginger too, Ann. She was my namesake. She was named after me. She's Ginger. Oh, I'm little Ginger. Okay. I'll look later and look back on it, see what I missed. So I'm going to go over. To the other eye, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to mark it off. Do the corner. And carry it out the length of my eye, to where my eyebrow ends in a little tail. Oh, the finish. Hi, baby. The hubby's home from work. Anybody that uh, watched, sun, was it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday night. He let me do a facial on him. And yes, I had to bribe him, but he let me do it, and I was really impressed that he sat through the whole thing. Such a good sport. But then, when he woke up the next morning, he talked about how good his skin felt. So, so now I'm going to go... It's right along the crease there. Hold on. Okay. But you do know. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you can lean over and say hi. Just Hello. don't bump me with my makeup here. I just yelled right in her ear for you. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the, on the inside right here, I'm going to go to the color seductive, secretive. I always say seductive. It is secretive right there. It's kind of a goldish shimmery color. And I'm going to go right to the inside. Let's see if I put it on with just the applicator. I really like this color. I think it's one of my favorite colors in the palette four. Yeah. 
It seems to go with just about every color in there. I think I need a little bit more of the brave on this eye over here coming out. All right. Now I'm going to use the color Tender to highlight at the top, and then I'll blend them together. And that's what they look like right now. And really, they don't really need a lot of blending, but just to make them kind of smooth together is what I call it. There it goes. Okay. That's something on my eye. I have a palette, never sure what to do with it. Yeah, I've been trying to do different things. I've got some more palettes in different colors coming. I've got a, a whole bunch of different colors of eyeshadow, but I want to use the addiction products that I have. So that's what we're doing. And now I'm going to try, and I say try because I haven't attempted this yet, to do a little touch with this. Uh, this is the Splurge Cream Shadow. Hi, Kay. And this is in the color extravagant. extravagant. And it looks a lot darker on the camera than it actually is, but it's very shimmery. This is the pigment that I have. I've got four more coming. Uh, are you talking about the dry pigment, the powders, and I've got four of the powder pigments coming in some awesome colors. I can't wait. Hi, Lucinda. How are you today? I'm going for try buys. Let's see if I can pull it off. Uh, I'm going to try to put this right here by my waterline, but not actually on my waterline. And it's not going to show up again. So... Yeah, I've got, I've got four of the powders coming, and I'm excited because I just love the colors that are available in the powders. I'm going to have so much fun with that. So I'm just going to see what this looks like right under, right under my brow here, just as a highlight. What do y'all think? I like that. It's very sparkly. So I'm going to go on to the other eye and do the same thing. Just to put a little shimmer in there. Oh, I'm doing good, Lucinda. Just got done working. So, seemed like it was a long, long day today. But there, see how shiny that is? Thank you, Ann. I think I'm going to go along that line there that I had coming out and just dab it just to get a little sparkle on it. And I think I want to go a little bit darker with the lines coming out, but I am going to do some. What do y'all think? Should I do... Is this prosperous? What color is this? Yes. Prosperous and passionate. Should I do the passionate, which is the purple, or the prosperous? I'm kind of leaning towards the prosperous since I have all the browns. So prosperous would be hearts. Passionate would be smiles. Passionate, the purple. Hmm. Okay, I will give it a try, Lucinda, just for you. I'm just going to line right under my eyes. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Everybody does this all the time. I don't know what to do. I don't want a rainbow. Mm. Dang. So I could do one eye. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to do one eye prosperous and one eye of the passionate. Why not? Yeah. So here we go. I'm just going to line under my... <laughs> this is going to be great. I'm going to line under my eye here. I'm first going with the prosperous. And yes, I make the eye face. Yeah, I'm going to have two separate eyes. That's for sure. There's the prosperous. This doesn't really, I don't want to put it too dark on my eyeline. Because if you wear it dark on your waterline, it will make your eyes appear smaller. And I don't want to do that. Because I already have heavy lids. So, then once you get to the corner, you want to come out. So there's the prosperous. Can I zoom in a little? I don't know how to zoom on this thing. Uh, let me just pull this forward a little bit. Does that help? That's a really good question. You can also see how good the, the makeup covers, the BB cream covers. Okay, now I'm going to go, I'm going to zoom, I'm going to, I'm not zooming, I'm moving the phone, but we're going to roll it backwards so you can watch me putting it on, because that's one thing, hi Beth, that's one thing people ask for is that they could watch me put it on, so, no, no problem at all, Ann, so now I'm going to do the passionate. On the other eye. And I'm just going to do it the same way. Line it right under the lashes. For color. Beth, did you find your doggies? Beth's doggies are missing. They were missing this morning. I hate to hear that. Did you find them? <laughs> oh, thank you for all the hearts. I love them. I love hearts. Hearts are good. They're everywhere. Hearts are awesome. They're all over the place. Hearts are overrated. Again, I'm not going to put it dark on my waterline. Just enough to give it a little color. Oh, yay! So glad you found them. Now I won't have to go sleep and worry. Now I know you're relieved. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, so when you get to the corner, let me see if I can switch over here for a minute and still see because my right eye is half blind. You're just going to pull it out. from the corner out to where it meets with your brow line. You see that? I'll get it a little bit darker under my eyes. So there's the passionate. Let me move my mirror. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of not really rub it in, but just kind of dab it to where it's not just a straight line there, but it's got the color still. I 
tell you what, that purple sticks. And like the green. So there's the, the prosperous and the passionate. The prosperous and the passionate. I'm all mixed up. I don't know who I am today. Not that I ever do. Oh, thank you. Then we'll back it up a little bit again. Oh, the hearts are back. They're everywhere. Yay, hearts! <laughs> love them, love them, love them. I'd send some back, but I don't have that option right now. So now my favorite product. Boom! 3D Fiber Lash <laughs> Mascara. This needs to be on every girl's must-have list. Because after using it, there's no way I will ever go back to regular mascara again. Did you say this needs to be on every girl's mustache list? No, I didn't say every girl's mustache. I said every girl's must ask, must, must have. Now you're confusing me. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say Men. at first. So we stayed over here. Okay, my dying. ear is right here, okay? Thank you. So this comes in two tubes. You have the tube with the gel that's pigmented, and then you have a tube with the fibers. And the first thing you want to do is you want to apply the gel. You don't want to go up and down and pump the air because it will dry it out. You just kind of swirl it around. Oh, you did too? Well, I apologize if I'm not clear. Clear, clear. Virginia. Drew Carey. Why is it because of the mixed eyes? Okay, so I'm just applying the gel. Outward and upward. Those are laughy faces. <laughs> because I was silly. I'm going to try to get where you can see me putting the gel on better. Watch them eyelashes grow. And then the magic six and a half happen. So while this gel is still wet, you're going to get out the fibers. And before you do anything, you want to gently roll it across your hand. It's not going to get nothing on your hand, but you want to make sure that the fibers are on the applicator good. And the most important step is you want to go halfway out. You don't want to start at your root because you are putting actual fibers. Let's see if you can see. You're putting actual fibers on to your eyelashes. And you don't want them to get in your eyes. So you don't want them. If you go down by the root, they're going to irritate your eyes. I just went too far right there. And are you seeing this right before your eyes? Right before my eyes? How that is my eyelashes are getting thicker and longer. Because I don't have eyelashes, but with these, I do. With these, my eyes pop. So, and they do so well that I don't even have to put anything on the bottom. You seeing that? Okay, now I'm going to go to the next eye with the gel. Cat, don't you do it. Don't you think about it. No, no ma'am. My cat wants makeup. So again, I'm just applying the gel onto my eyelash just like you would mascara and the gel does have a, a, a I think it's a black pigment in it I'm gonna switch hands so hopefully you can see hi Tammy Ooh, I hit my eyeball not my eyeball my eyelid <laughs> If I hit my eyeball, y'all would see me like tearing up and screaming right now because that would hurt. See, and that's without the fibers. And with the fibers, it's going to get 
even th thicker and longer. I'm trying to make my eyelashes behave over here. They're trying to join hands. Can't be having that. So, once again, the fibers. And roll it against your hand just lightly just to keep them from coming off the applicator and then onto your eyelashes if I can get my mirror where I can see I'll try to share it with you see I don't know if you can see the fibers on there but you're actually transplanting them onto your eyelashes and the gel is keeping them in place I'm trying not to make the the eyelash face, but I'm still going. To... <laughs> I think Renee said that it's one in four people make the face when they're applying their makeup. So you see that? I think I need a little bit more on that eye. Well, I don't have the gel on there yet, but I think I need to put just a little bit more on there to make them even. Drop the fiber. I'd like to know who did the research to find out that. I don't know, but they were genius. They were committed. No more falsies that you got to rip off your eyes after you glue them on. Okay, so we'll let that sit just a minute and let them adhere, and then I'm going to go back over them with one last coat of. Yes, it is. Is it not, Beth? You see that? I don't. I don't even have eyelashes hardly, so they really make your eyes pop. They're just. I love them. Love them. Love them. It's my favorite product. So now I'm gonna go back over with a coat of gel, and what this does is it seals the fibers in. My family is so funny. They're over here poking jokes at me. But look, I'm just ignoring them quit. and going on. <laughs> you on your eye right I didn't make fun of you. I just laughed at what was said. Because it was funny. I don't know if you can... I don't know how to hold my eyes where you can see this, but my eyelashes are like really long right now. Oh, yeah, I think so, Ann. About making the face. I think it's higher than that too. That's just like you ever <laughs> watch somebody when they're feeding someone uh, like a baby. Feeding them baby food. And they give them a bite. They're like. <laughs> oh I would be that person. I, I think 8 out of 10 people do that when they're feeding a baby. They make the. They try to open the mouth like they're getting the food too. And again, these can be found at my website at www.myglamclan.com. And we have a 14-day, you'll love it, guarantee. Which means you try it, you don't absolutely 100% love it for any reason. You tell them, hey, I don't love it. Get something else, get your money back, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to put the gels on my eyes on the lower eyelashes. <clears throat> But I'm going to just kind of touch them with the, I said no gel. I'm not putting the fibers on my bottom eyelashes, but I am putting just a little bit of gel on there just for color. Thanks, Ann. Appreciate you watching. Have a good evening. So there's my tri buys. And I should let that dry for a minute and do my top eyeliner because I forgot to. Mm -hmm. 
And as soon as I'm done with that, I'll have my uh, do my lips and I'll be ready. Ready to jet myself. Now I'm going to switch colors since I did one eye. No, it's not heavy at all, see? <laughs> it, it really isn't. It's, it's no heavier than just wearing regular mascara. The only difference is that you're putting the fibers on there, and they add to your eyelashes and make them thicker, and they make them longer. They just do wonders. So now on this eye, I'm going over, because a while ago, I had somebody wanting the color... Prosperous, which is green, that's the side, and somebody that wanted passionate. passionate, which is the purple, on this side, I like, so I said I'd do both eyes, different colors. Anybody calling you Mimi? Oh, is that why he's talking about Drew Carey, because of the makeup? Mimi. Because of the eyelashes? My makeup is not dark. It wasn't it was just yeah, it was. Okay, so there's the purple and there's the green. And that's my tribe eyes for today. Now, I'm going to line my lips with the color peachy. Actually, I'm going to line them with the color punchy, which is this color right here. Yeah, Dell's back there calling me Mimi. Thanks. So when you have uh, lips that aren't as full as you want them, like mine, my, my top lip is not, not full. I'm going to line the outside of my lip instead of the inside, like the inside edge. Well, I just messed that up. Give me a minute. And to make it fuller. That's my Tuesday tip. Is on the lips. Mark. If you were here right now. I'm putting makeup on you. Because you know you want it. Now I'm going to line my bottom. Just as it is. Because they're full enough for me. And see, I just made them, they're going to appear bigger. Laughing faces just came and gone. Mm -hmm. Probably Mark. I don't know. I wasn't watching. I'm going to color them in with the punchy. Or the peachy, I'm sorry. Now, I, I use punchy on the outside. I think I should have went reverse like I planned on. Because you don't want lighter on the outside. It just looks, doesn't look right. Okay, now I'm going to grab, where did it go? Huh? I'm going to, I'm going to do just a couple dots of this Splash liquid lipstick. And this is, what color is this? Hi Mandy, hi James, what color? Sentimental. Sentimental. I'm just going to do a couple drops because I already have color. I just do like a drop across and rub it in. Oh, what? That one, that's a nice color. Yeah. I'm just blending the colors. It's a very confusing color, but it's nice. <laughs> don't understand. Everything that. about me is confusing. What are you talking about? I know. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> so now we have the appearance of my top lips being bigger. I probably should have went higher. Lip gloss time. 
I'm the glossy girl. Like the gloss. See how shiny. I can't wait till my lucrative lip gloss comes in. Thank you. See them? Did you see when I did one green and one purple? Uncle Mark, she knows. Because nobody could give me, like, it was split. So I did a split eye. Of course, you can't tell, Mark. She's just that good. So, there's my lips. And I don't know if I can do an ombre effect on here because the colors are light, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to show you one more tip it's called ombre lip. And you just kind of go in the middle with a light color. And I am using my shadow. This is my splurge cream shadow. Oh, nice. Splurge cream shadow in the color extravagant extravagant and i'm just putting a little bit on there and you put it in the middle oh it looks like peaches it's awesome and it's going to give an ombre effect guys <laughs> oh mercy okay Just kind of touch my lips together. And you can see how it kind of fades in and out. Um, so now it kind of blends in with my eyes, too. So that is my look for tonight. Hi, Lori. Look, guys. My lips look like peaches. Awesome. Just did my ombre lips. And my eyes are two different colors. I have... Prosperous over here, which is the green, and passionate yes. over here, which is the purple. Try buys. Hashtag try buys. Okay. And then I did the ombre lips. Yes, she does look fabulous. Which I don't have a lot of top lip. And I did make them bigger. <laughs> Maybe I should have went a little bit bigger, but... Yes, hearts. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Hearts, hearts back. Guys, okay, there's my look for tonight. Got my popping eyes thanks to my 3D okay. mascara. And one last thing you don't want to forget. This is also from the royalty line. What are you doing? You got a hair on your arm. There you go. This is the rose water toning spray. And you you can use it for many different things, but right now I'm just going to do two light sprays. You want to move out of my way and uh, just let it fall on my face. And it sets my makeup. And now I'm good for the rest of the evening at home with the husband and family cooking supper. <laughs> but I'll look good doing it and I'll feel good doing it. So anybody... Um, that hasn't done so, please share my video. Check out my website at www.myglamclan.com. Um, like me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash myglamclan. And I'm going to be having some really great things coming up on that page very soon. So keep, keep an eye on that. And good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Share with your family, with your friend, with your neighbor, and with your dog. Because why not? <laughs> good night, everybody.